Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, it's your host Galadon, here we go again! It is episode 2 of Town Hall 15 Gem 2 Max, we have a massive, insane, crazy amount of defenses to do, we have heroes, we have hero pets, and not to even mention the walls, it is going to be out of control. Town Hall 15 is going to be difficult and very different, so if you want more cool Town Hall 15 and other Town Hall Clash of Clans content, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. Also, once again, this episode is brought to you by the Creator Code. If it weren't for those of you that are using the Creator Code, episodes like this wouldn't happen. Thank you guys very, very much. I'll be honest with you, back in the old days, YouTube advertising would take care of the cost of a gem to max. That is not the case anymore. So thank you again, and here we go. We're gonna start with some heroes. The Dark Elixir is, oh man, I okay, 20 levels of heroes. 40 levels of hero pets, and if you recall, there's been several episodes recently where I said, eh, the new hero pets, they're not that exciting, they're not that useful. I feel like that was me trying to convince myself that I don't need to gem them to max right away. Okay, but we do need to gem to max the heroes, and so that's gonna get done immediately. Now remember, we have two hammers, right? So. The Archer Queen at level 84 is going to use a hammer, and then the Barbarian King at level 84 also uses a hammer. Those are the two most expensive hero upgrades that we have. So the Archer Queen is now fully maxed out. She's done. Remember, you get the boost if you don't upgrade your heroes. You've got that temporary boost. So maybe players want to focus on something else rather than heroes right when they go to Town Hall 15. But for us, no. King done. Queen done. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. King's Oh man, okay, here's the problem. You'll notice that we already ran out of Dark Elixir, and I'm into the raid metals now to purchase more Dark Elixir just to get the king done. And he's only going to 83, so that is really quickly that we spent a million Dark. Now the good news is we have something like 15 runes of Dark Elixir, which seems like a crazy number, but let's always remember that there are 40 levels of hero pets and and Okay, let's move on. At least, hey, there's a hero that is upgraded with the Elixir, so that's nice. We've got the G-dubs. We can use Elixir on him. The Royal Champion, she's on her way. We can't use a hammer for her, but she is a little bit less expensive than the King and the Queen as far as individual levels. And then what we decided to do was we need to start to consider splitting up. Okay, I'm not ready to spend that much Dark Elixir yet. 2,000 gems for 66,000 Dark Elixir. Do you guys realize what that means? To gem a Dark Elixir storage full is over 10,000 gems. Say it with me. Yeah, no, don't say it. Just forget I said that. But okay, what we're doing here is we're using a Rune of Dark Elixir, and then I'm getting two upgrades done with that Dark. So a Royal Champion level, and then with 102,000, we're going to go in and gem. Yes, that's right. Gem the other 2300 gems to finish off the Dark Elixir that we need for a pet upgrade. And the reason we're doing this is because we know that eventually there's no way we're going to have enough Dark Elixir. We're going to have to go to straight gems. And as you'll see, we've dipped below 300,000 gems. We're at 285 and we just barely touched the hero pets. N not, not, not to mention the defenses over there hiding on the right-hand side of the screen, right? Look at all those cannons, wizard towers, archer towers, expos, inferno towers. Okay, I'm going to hyperventilate. Hold on. Let's just do the Grand Warden. And again, remember what we talked about last episode. It's this game of math. Where can we find two upgrades that cost the sum total of one rune? And we're really close with a Grand Warden level and a wall. You'll notice that we were just under a second ago. Now we're just over, which is beautiful, just spending a couple hundred gems. And also I feel like it's reducing the pain that we're going to experience when it comes time to do the walls. And you you have to know by now that Galadon has to do it, right? We can't not do the walls. That would be ridiculous, but we are going to find a way to keep both camps of people happy. And what I mean is the camps and social media, many said, Galadon, gem to max, or you're not the king of gemming to max. And others said, Galadon, I hate watching you spend gems on walls. Don't do it. Give your money to charity instead, or keep it and pay the bills so that you're not homeless, which is a really good idea. But okay, so before we get to those walls, let's get back into finding two upgrades and using a rune. Finding two upgrades and using a rune, more or less. Now, I did kind of screw this one up. I was doing bombs 
and Archer Towers that I should have been doing air bombs at Archer Towers because you'll notice that every single time I did that, the rune wasted a little bit of gold and you should have seen the chat at this point. The chat was blowing up. They're like, Galadon, no, 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 not the bombs. Air bombs, Galadon, air bombs. <sighs> Eventually they got through to me and we did switch over to air bombs, which by the way was the perfect combination. So was the combination of air defenses and a wall. You'll notice it got us to zero gold every single time. That felt great. The runes are doing a good job here and we've gotten through a big chunk of defenses. Then we did bomb towers with air bombs. That worked out really well again and the math is just going. And this again, by the way, was on the fly. I didn't plan anything ahead. I just did it as we kind of looked around and saw, wait, okay, how about a wizard tower and a wall? How about an expo and a wall? That was a perfect combination. <laughs> and now, again, look at the walls. We've made a nice little chunk of the Town Hall 15 walls, so it won't be quite as bad when it comes down to, well, there's 200 walls to do at once. Here we are with Inferno Towers and walls, and we're getting closer, right? We have to spend more and more gems on the walls, but again, we know that walls for gems is simply an inevitability. It has to happen. It is going to happen. You know it is, and I know some of you are looking forward to the pain. Some of you like to see Gala Wallet have dust falling out of it, so okay, let's move on and continue through just about every defense at this point that's the last wizard tower i think we're actually done right we did the wall oh no cannons oh my gosh okay fine cannons and yeah the cannons are the last ones though the cannons are the final one and again what we're doing here is we're trying not to dig too deeply into the raid metals but it just turns out that we yeah we had to pretty much spend all of our raid metals before we even got to the walls we're buying a little bit of gold and now look at the gold and the elixir both at zero so that's good that's what we want because then when we have another rune we are using maximum amount we're getting 22 million for it by the way also you'll see we did pick up the rune from the gold pass we're going to pick up the rune from the daily deals or the weekly deals as well we're making sure trust me the treasury has long since been emptied every single possible way that we could pick up loot other than raiding because we do not raid in gem to max we have covered and there it is two cannons 170 walls remain so we've done 30 walls and we haven't even touched things like wall rings and there's other ways that we can pick up more wall rings through gems i think yeah there's some in gems there's some in raid metals although we might have blown it with the raid metals and already spent all of those which was a mistake but like i said there's going to be little mistakes here and there overall we're trying to be good about it but look at that i mean those town hall 15 defenses look amazing right they look so cool of course now we didn't do eagle scatter shot those haven't happened yet no doubt at some point at town hall 15 you will see those be released along with the other 125 walls and trust me i am not looking forward to that either because it's very likely i won't have a big store of wall rings or runes by the time they release those future minor update upgrades to town hall 15. okay here was a funny moment in the live stream i said oh look i'm done i'm done only walls left and everybody was yelling and screaming galadon galadon pets pets yes okay so fine there are 33 levels of pets 33 levels of pets remaining to be done we cannot spend any raid medals on dark elixir so that was unfortunate we have 33 levels and we don't have that many runes of dark but the good news is if we start chunking off some of that gem savings that we have we should be okay 13 runes of dark elixir 33 levels of pets but this is where and it's going to go in fast motion this is where we were able to start to spend the gems because what we were doing is upgrading two pets with one rune and using gems on the shortage. Now we had to empty the dark elixir first, so I spent gems to upgrade the walrus, frosty, and then here it goes. Okay, so one rune and then two pets. We would always pick the two cheapest pets and that way the amount of gems we would have to spend Right there, it was only 178 gems. That's not bad at all, right? That doesn't feel bad. Well, just wait, because again, as we fast forward through the levels, we had 30-something levels to go. Each and every time, it gets a little bit more expensive. 178 gems worth of Dark Elixir needed this time. We go back in. We find, again, the two cheapest pet levels to do. And again, just a warning from me personally, I don't think that any of these pets are critical. Like, oh man, you've got to get these. They're so OP. 
They're fun. They're different. They're obviously really colorful. They're cute, hilarious, whatever you want to call it. But no, based upon all of the playtesting I've seen from myself and from pros, there is not a single hero pet that is so crazy strong that you need to rush and make sure you get it right away. So put this down the list. In fact, it should be at the bottom of your list of Dark Elixir priorities. Get the monolith, get your hero new levels, and then worry about these hero pets last. So I don't know if you can hear that in the tone of my voice, but I am egging on the Clash of Clans team to boost these hero pets so that they are more useful. I mean, it would be in their best interest, right? They should put out OP new hero pets so players are super eager to get the levels up. But they're not, so again, don't worry about it. We, of course, had to do it. And here you can see we're almost done. I've got, what, six levels remaining. And yes, we did run out of Dark Elixir runes. So all of the runes we had are gone. We picked the one out of the gold pass. Now we're spending 3,000 gems, which by the way is a bargain. Remember to gem the storage full is 10,200. So that's a 7,200 gem discount to buy that one out of the deals. And that's it though. The good news, however, is we only had two more levels of hero pets to do the painful way, right? The painful way being pure gems. So Poison Lizzie and Phoenix Go into 10 straight from pure gems. 6837 in gems for one level and then the Phoenix. So nearly a hundred dollars in gems. Fifty dollars a level for those final levels on Poisey. Poisey. Poisey, there's a good name. No, Lizzie and the Phoenix. Lizzie and the Phoenix. And now that's it. We're done officially. That's okay. Deep breath. Sit back, look at our handiwork. We are going to show them off by pairing them up and putting them on display next to the use code Galadon Base. But wait a minute. Wait a minute, we've reached the end of episode two of Gem to Max and we haven't done the walls. Okay, will you guys consider, I know it's a lot to ask, would you consider coming back for an episode three? Would you come back tomorrow? I beg of you to check out tomorrow's video where we deal with the Town Hall 15 walls. Thank you, Galfam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know you are the true hashtag Galfam. That is why I love, think about it, and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for Jam to Max Walls. But if you don't gem to max the walls, maybe, maybe I don't have to sleep in the bathroom anymore, please.